What's going on out there in YouTube land? You YouTubers and Tubets out there. Today is Thursday, August 21st, and it's been a little while since I made a video. And I apologize each and every time, but... Sorry. <laughs> I'm here to do a quick recap of... Since my last video, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. Summers are crazy. I mean, it's, it's just it's non-stop sports, events, everything. Probably say this every video, but it it is it takes a lot of time. I just my vote motivation hasn't been there to um, get a lot out. I have stuff prepped. I have letters done. I just been lazy. Honestly, I just been lazy. Maybe it's 23 years of doing this and kind of slowing down a little bit, but I do have the fever back. I'm ready to stop pumping out more. I mean, I do a lot more during the winter because it's you're hibernating during the winter and just staying in and having a few beers and taking care of uh, your business. All right, so let me recap the cards first and a couple of pitches that I got in. And to tell you the truth, since my last video... My pile that I showed you is still sitting here. I haven't, I put like two things away. Um, it's kind of gross. I get just crap piled up everywhere. So, that is that. Um, couple of things. Troy, I'm glad you like the, uh, Johnny Walker back there. I'm a big Johnny Walker black, uh, fan. And that second bottle is a double black. So if you ever have, have a chance, give it a whirl. It's really good, nice and smooth. Neat. Do not put it on the rocks. It's the way I prefer it. All right. Uh, oh, another one. Uh, card Cutter, I don't know if you're still here out of the country. Um, thanks for your service, brother. Um, really appreciate it. I know you, it must be tough to uh, be on a deployment and not and have to leave your family and friends and be away for a long stretch of time. So if you see this on your way back while you're out there, what not? Uh, be safe. Enjoy. <laughs> not enjoy, but yeah, have a ball. But uh, be safe. Just come back to us and uh, good luck to you. All right, now I can start doing stuff. Just out the cards first. It's a small pile this time. I'm gonna butcher half these guys' names first. Tony use Bono Bio. Signed one, and he signed two. I sent him three cards. He kept one, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's two minor league cards. Perfectly fine. Next, Johnny Elliott. Let me screw that one up. Sign that one. No minor league. Uh, Olympic success, Jamie Anderson. Might be in for snowboarding, came in. Next, Joe Brinkman. This one took about nine months. So I was a little surprised. Umpire card. Sign that one. When I sent these out, I was getting guys back within like two weeks. So to get one back in nine months took a while. Next, you have our ending. Rick Cerrone, who signs one card and one kind only. Takes them about a week, but it, he only signs one. And I literally probably have about 30 cards of them that I want to get signed. So probably around 2021, I should be done sending to them. Send to them about three times a year. All right. Next, sign four, four. Hockey, S Scott, Arnold. Sign one. Sign these two. Leave me that sign. And sign a fourth. Next, another weak guy. Uh, Bill Allman. Eighty-seven toss card. Down in Rhode Island. Yeah, Rhode Island. Yeah, Rhode Island. West Warwick, Rhode Island. Um, about a week round trip. Super fast signing. I did a signing up here in Massachusetts about a year ago. I didn't make it to it, but it would have been great to just thank him because he is an excellent signer. Next, Johnny Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Played for the New England Patriots. Sign two of two. Sorry, my, I moved my camera. And it's a different setup than I'm used to, so I'm still getting used to it. Like my pictures over here, but my camera's here. So, oh, there we go. I moved it over. Oh, does that do that? Why not? Oh, never mind. All right, I'm just screwing around. All right, next, Darren Ersted sent it to Nebraska baseball. Took him about six months. 
side two of two. Next, Omar Oliveris signed three of three. He took about a year and a half. Sign one. Signed that one. Oh, that one's the front and find that one. Excuse me. Sorry. Alright, Larry Boa. Again, he's another guy that takes about a week. I love these cards. The uh two thousand thirteen tops. Nice, easily signed. Next, Jeff Facero is a pitching coach down the minors. Signed two of two. Next, former first round overall pick, Phil Nevins, who's the Reno Aces manager out to B Mart. Um, there you go. Which you probably have a stack, probably about that big. Next, Jack Cust. I uh, one one. Greg Everson, I one and one. Bobby DeJardin, I one of one. You know, it's a lot of minor leagues. I'm starting to go through them. I did them last year. Now I'm re going through them and actually requesting addresses to start Tiger. And they have actually come through with a bunch of them, which is great. Next, this one confuses me, but it's Song He Kim. LPGA player, and she signed in orange. This took about two months, but uh, yeah, this show's awesome on the camera. Look it up here; you can barely see it. Next, Gary Even Even. This one's a weird one. He this is I got this letter in one of those USPS packages that says, "Hey, your letter got jammed in our machine." I don't know if all the contacts are in there, but sorry. But it was like completely sliced. And he had wrote, God bless to you and your family. And he signed the front, 2014. And he signed down the bottom. Then you flip it over and he signed it again, 2014. Signed down there. Um, twice. <laughs> and he signed this other one. And he signed that one. Twice. Don't know, don't get it, but thank you. Next, Jared Scully signed two or two hockey. Move back so you can actually see him. Next, Chris Carpenter signed three or three. I'm going to see. There's another one. Next, Peter. Stepning. Didn't sign that, but did sign the back of that one. So he signed one of three. And he signed it on the back. Next, Greg Block, who's always a great signer, signed one. I'll look at another one. And, let's jump the gun. Signed three. Another guy that signs in about eight days. Olympic success, Aaron Hamlin. Signed that one. Devin Logan. And finally, Bob Davidson, who signed that one. And if you see right across, there's a crease. Right. Very rarely do I get cards back that are beat up, which I think is probably like half a percent, which is great for the amount that I send out. I thought I would get more stuff beat up, but I don't. Alright, put those behind the pile that's going to sit there for another month. Alright, next, sent this card out, 68 top blown up, that I had made up, I can actually see if I had the date, almost two years ago, I had this laying around, and right, that one, alright, got a letter from the Red Sox, Shane Victorino's too busy, which I knew was going to happen, but anywho, uh, Xavier Nady's no longer on the Padres, apparently, uh, X. So cool one. I sent this one to this individual, and it came back unsigned. I had sent ten dollars to the gift. He's been signing a lot for free. He's a Hall of Famer, but sent it back unsigned. So I tried again a few months later, and I threw twenty bucks in because I really like this picture. And I really want it signed, but it's coming from Goose Gossage. 
If you've seen an old video of mine, I showed this. That's Billy Martin's wife uh, from the Yankees. You know, um, chocolates. That's him sitting there. I just saw the picture and I'm like, it's such a cool picture. And I, I gotta get that one done. So, thanks for the buy. Uh, next, I sent this pitching rubber to Jim Perry, former um, Cy Young winner. Came back unsigned. No note, no explanation, nothing. Okay, this this is an interesting one that I sent to. Big fan of the show. I just started up again. I had sent this to Gloucester, Massachusetts, which is about 45 minutes north, maybe an hour north. And I was expecting this back in about a week, week and a half. Well, it took about six months. For the reason he explains here, um, I sent it to the fishing boat, fishingboattuna.com. I had tracked down their corporate headquarters or where they registered, so I sent it there, hoping that it would get forwarded on to him. And he explains in this note that he wrote, um, why it took so long. He is so sorry. Just his friend had handed it to him. Usually I'll read this whole letter to you, but he says a little information on here that, um, I'm not supposed to share. He says, um, Blah, blah, they're filming season four right now, and he's catching lots of, and some are, he gives the weights on here, and he said, don't tell anyone, though. That's just for you to know. So I'm going to honor his request and not tell you what he's catching up there, but if you watch uh, Wicked Tuna, you know, Captain Dave, sign that one, sign that one. Sign this one with his crew, which I wish the crew signed it too, but I have to get that. And he sent this own picture from the, yes, the Tuna Top Girl. The first few seasons, everyone hated this guy because he was so cocky and doing so great, but I, he's one of my favorites on the show. And finally, I sent this, I had requested a picture from the guy Bob from Sesame Street and signed it to my three sons. Then I sent it to Gordon. Uh, and he's made it out to my three sons. He's on the other but, um, so I might send that out to the other cast guys on it. Just, to have something. Alright, almost 13 minutes. Um, thanks for sending through this. And I gotta stop putting this crap away. Not crap, but it's just, it's a lot I gotta put away. Alright, everyone have a good night now.